We live, as Christians, we live in um, almost a state of denial about our country. Um, we, we still somehow think that we're a God-fearing nation. Yeah. When our president, however long back it was, got up and, and declared that we're no longer a Christian nation, people were all kinds of upset. I mean, it made, it made Christians all over the country furious. I mean, preachers all over the place preaching against our, our president because how dare he say something like this. And this isn't a popular view, but I'll tell you right now, he's right. Because yeah. you look at the decisions made by our country, removing God and, and anything that represents him from public places and the lifestyles that are now considered acceptable, and, and it's true. We're no longer a Christian nation, and that's not the president's fault. That's right. A person can try and blame him all that they want to, but you can't fault the president for decisions made by the people. It's the fault of the Christians because we're not being a light. What's the purpose of light? I'm not going to try and get real, real deep here. This isn't a trick question. I'm not going to go into, you know, super, super deep with this. What's the purpose of light? It's to brighten an otherwise dark place. Um, I don't think anyone would deny that um, the world we live in is dark. It amazed me to, to um, how many, um, it, how it seemed like, like such a drastic turn in our country in such a short time. Things that, that not long ago would have been considered horrible now are normal. Um, marriage is no longer sacred. People are, are taking something that was sacred since the time of Adam and Eve and are trying to redefine what it means, not trying to anymore, have and um, have made laws to make that okay. Uh, having kids before marriage, that was something you think about that, that not too many years ago people were ashamed of. It wasn't that long ago that if, if your kid got pregnant before she was married, you tried to hide it. You didn't want people to know it was a shame to your family. Now, most high schools have a nursery so you can drop your kid off and go to school. Uh, there's a, one in Lakewood that's very proud of the fact that they were the very first high school in the country to have a student nursery. And they, they brag about the fact. That's, that's insane. Something that not that long ago would have been, would have been a shame to a family, and now they, it's bragged about. Um, even things like, like respect for, for authority is, is gone. I mean, you think about it, it wasn't long ago that, that people respected the police. Yeah. You know, the whole, whole police shooting thing, you know, we're only in March. And there's already, I was looking at it, um, unless more has happened since, as of uh, Friday night when I looked this up, 16 police officers that have been shot in the line of duty this year. We're just over two months. That's insane. No one in here would deny that, that we are living in a dark place. And what that place needs is more light. Doesn't need more laws, doesn't need more gun restrictions or, or courts deciding what, what is and isn't right or anything else like that. We need more light in this dark place. The purpose of light is, is to um, lighten a dark place, so start lighting. Seems to me there must be a whole lot of Christians that don't know their purpose because they aren't shedding any light. 